Hey guys! Welcome to this year's National Stationery Week video. Uh, as you remember, last year we did a nice little adventure around Edinburgh and we had a look what sort of shops you can visit to, to find amazing stationery around my town. But this year I'm gonna make it perhaps a bit easier because uh, I'm not gonna ask you to come and go all the way to Edinburgh this year. You will probably be able to partake in the festivities even from anywhere else in the UK and, and probably also anywhere else in the European Union. That's because this year I actually went online to Etsy and some other couple of tiny little websites and I visited uh, great artists who focus at least some of their creative energy on making stationery. I was thinking that it would just be really great to support people who are kind of working on their own. There's nothing wrong with people who design for larger companies. They are just as talented and they deserve just as much recognition. But I was thinking they already have those big companies on their side. You know, they do have that champion. These peeps who sell on their own or, you know, in like creative duos, they don't have that. So I was thinking uh, that maybe it will help my karma to support these amazing creative people who are doing it all on their own because they're so cool and it takes a lot of work and time and money and it's just almost like insanely hard. Okay, so possibly the one item of indie stationery that inspired me to make this video was this daily balance planner. And you can tell by this top bit here that I have used this before. It When it came, it was probably twice the size. Uh, right now it's kind of like regular size, but it was like a hefty, nice daily planner when it came the first time. This is from indie brand called Sai, uh, or recently kind of like slightly rebranded to Sai by Polly because it's made by a designer called Polly who lives in Newcastle and she has a cute little stationery store. I think that she doesn't actually sell on Etsy but she has her own website with the shop. She makes stationery, she makes a whole bunch of kind of like subtypes of these. I have been loving this so hard. Uh, so this is basically a thing that's made for people like me who ha might have a hard time finding that work-life balance, which is, I mean, that's why it's called the daily balance. And you basically have one column for work and one for life. You get to kind of pick your sort of daily priority. Then you have a to-do list, which I find is kind of like an ideal size because it has like, I think, like eight or ten slots. There's these like little kind of desaturated notes sometimes. There's like a little teacup here. Polly also designs kind of a similar one for students and you can also get a whole weekly one. Uh, now, these two bad boys are from a design studio called Ola, Ola Studio. Uh, you can find their work on olastudio.co.uk and they mostly specialize in this sort of kind of minimalistic, simple paper pattern design and they make these notebooks which they call uh, lay flat binding notebooks. Let's have a look how flatly they, they lay. Yep, that's pretty flat. I find that this type of binding is quite good if you're left-handed. You can get these in blank and lined, I think. I think that those are the two options, but uh, definitely check out their website. Uh, this one, as you can see, is a bit more playful. It's also blank. Um, this one actually comes from their sub-brand, which is called Ola Junior, and that seems to be the more kind of like child-friendly. I mean, it doesn't matter, right? Like. I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of kids who would love this and a lot of adults who would love this. If you're in Edinburgh, you can find some of the products from Ola in Hannah Zachary shop. So definitely give that a go. I'm pretty sure that I got this one on sale even, so win. Another indie stationery brand that I keep bumping into in Hannah Zachary store is Parrot Press. And they don't do just stationery, they do a lot of like art prints and their art prints are amazing. You definitely have to check out their website if you're looking for like decoration. If you're like a graphic designer or if you have a graphic designer friend or child or parent, like they have posters and prints that would look so good in someone's creative office. Like I want them. I don't have much space left on my walls, but they are so good. Anyway, the thing that I opted for, uh, are these little notebooks. Uh, as you can see, I have three of them. One of them is an A5 and these two are A6s. They are all blank. Uh, this one just has this like minimalistic 
sort of natural motif. Uh, these two are very magical. I'm pretty sure I got these around autumn when I was, you know, catching all the witchy vibes. I absolutely love them. They're not too expensive. They're great for drawing. The paper is really thick actually. Like I'm pretty sure that the paper in these could take watercolor. So yeah, I can only recommend these. Great stuff. Now, Twin Pines Creative is this creative studio that does both stationery and like art prints and web design. And it's all owned by this lady called Kat. And coincidentally, she's also the person behind this month, which is May 2019, uh, this month's surprise stationery box from Oh Dear. When I went to her actual website, uh, the amount of stuff that you can get from there and also her Etsy shop is a lot wider than anywhere else so you know if you're a fan of her work that's probably the best place to go i wanted to illustrate what she does by buying this card which is kind of like a valentine's day card <laughs> i just love the style first of all i studied copywriting alongside art direction so to me someone who uses copy but it's not like the same copy all over again. And I think that Kat from Twin Pines is doing an amazing job coming up with great, simple copy. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. But I was quite pleasantly surprised to find out that she also designed this. This magnificent beast of a weekly planner. I love the colors. They're like dark, navy and white, but it comes in another color variant. I'm pretty sure that that one is maybe even like green and pink or gray and pink. Jimmy Sparker is a very talented illustrator who I found by a total accident while I was doing research on Etsy on who does independent stationery. He seems to specialize in pattern illustration and uh, I think that my favorite was uh, this geo of notebooks that's inspired by William Shakespeare. I think that when I was buying it I was still riding a high of uh, seeing Macbeth in the globe with um, Paul Reddy my future husband, sorry Simon. Um, anyway, they are actually like two different designs. One of them, well, both of them have Shakespeare on them. So like if you hate Shakespeare's face, don't get this one. But obviously he's selling other designs as well. Holly Dinsdale is a designer that sells on Etsy as well. And one of her kind of sub brands is called Constance and Clay. And uh, she makes all of these like nicely illustrated to-do lists and uh, like notepads but my favorite was this little notebook because like it's this like Hollywood California style and I love this little Arnie here that's absolutely Arnie right yeah yeah that's a classic Arnie there's uh, some nice details to it as well like this kind of like hand print looking what you call it? like oh, a name tag personal information bit yeah, there's more Arnie here. Woo! Bonus Arnie. This bit here is not printed on. That's like a, an actual like a fabric tape. I imagine that she is probably book binding these herself. Um, but again, not lined. The paper is quite nice. It has kind of like a natural color and uh, feel. Probably recycled. But yeah, quite thick. Very nice. Now, Alex Foster is an illustrator from Margate and he mostly does children's illustrations. He clearly has been working on some children's books as well, uh, but on his Etsy store he has a whole bunch of really cute bits of stationery. My favorite was this to-do list with a luchador design. It's, uh, as you can see, it's like this thick and it has just the design is so cute. Like I think this would make an amazing gift. I especially like how this guy is about to land on this guy who's not gonna have a good time. I would recommend this for people who have a very tiny handwriting though. He also makes really cute map prints. You definitely have to check out his store if you're looking for a map print for your office or your home. Now this little brand you probably have heard of before. I am pretty sure that you might have caught a little glimpse of them in my last year's video about stationery. They're called Papio Press and it's Harry and Zana from Cornwall. They are a creative duo uh, because they do have the same last name, so I assume they are a marriage couple. Oh wait, I think that also they have a kid. They are absolutely a married couple. 
Sorry, Harry and Zana. Uh, anyway, I absolutely love this style. Like they, they have such a strong sense of style going through the stuff they make. They make things like postcards and notebooks. They also make a lot of jewelry. I own some of that as well. Uh, the themes kind of vary from travel to natural history and like mythical beasts. Uh, like here, like this is from like the mythical beast series, right? So you have um, the, the griffins. They are both. That's, you call this a griffin, right? Mm -hmm. Or is it a hippogriff? Sure, why not? One of the two! Anyway, this one is lined and this one is blank, so, you know, it's kind of like, yay! Oh. No, they're both beautiful. Uh, absolutely amazing for, like, travel notes or something. And I also found from my previous purchases uh, some postcards they made. So this is from the travel series. So you have these, the color, the color schemes are just so dreamy. This is the, the, the animal series. Ah! If you're a fan of the whole Illustruber scene, you are probably a fan of Catherine Kay, aka Catnip, who makes this stuff. Uh, her Etsy shop is full of amazingness. She makes a lot of pins and also planner stickers. Uh, I don't think I have any of her pins just yet, but will probably purchase some in the future. For now, because this was a video about stationery, I've decided to purchase some of her stickers. She actually is a full-time illustrator now, I think, like a freelance, and she makes videos about, you know, how to fulfill that dream uh, and how that whole thing works. Uh, I'm fairly sure that she actually prints all of these stickers at home, which is also very impressive. She is so prolific. Like, if you guys have never heard of her, you, you have to just, like, do me the favor and go check her out. She works so hard. She's amazing. Anyway, <laughs> what I got is uh, two sets that felt the most relevant to me. This one is cute little, like, tiny Instagram mascot stickers. And these are little, like, YouTube mascot stickers. Uh, she seems to have so many different subtypes. So whatever your you know, your goals or interests are, you will definitely find something to suit your needs. As I was going through some of my older stuff, because for example, the postcards from Papio Press I've owned for maybe like two years now, and it felt like it would be a good opportunity to shove them in your face and tell you how awesome they are. I also found uh, this cute little sketchbook from my friend Ness. Uh, this is a, a little witchcraft notebook. I also have this little bookmark from her. I just think this is, this is really cute and it's really nicely bound as well. Uh, she does have an Etsy store as well, so check her out. And she does a lot of D&D uh, &D themed pin badges. So, you know, whatever your D&D &D class is, you're gonna find a badge for you. If you prefer something slightly more traditional, I can recommend checking out Cambridge Imprint. Cambridge Imprint is like a creative collective put together by three artists. One of them is a painter, one of them is a textile designer, and the last one is a ceramicist. Uh, you can see that the look is just very kind of like traditional craft themed. They also make like photo albums and things like that. Uh, you can also check out their website for cute little tutorials on how to use their paper to make origami little projects. Next up. Ingenious Ink from Bristol. What I found really fascinating is that a lot of the products they make and print uh, are quite like kind of nerdy. Like they have the look of stationery that would probably be the best used by someone who's like a real data nerd. Like people who like data and numbers will love their stuff. It was only three pounds for like a big bunch of these and from one side you have this like a graph where you can note your progress on any given project and on the other side it's kind of like a, a similar concept but a different visual if you like graphs and things like that but maybe you're not the sort of like bullet journaler uh, I think this would be amazing for you yeah like anyone who needs someone to help them with the graphic side of things but at the same time they enjoy visualizing data uh, Go check them out because they make so many different types of these. They make like um, like priority matrices and that sort of thing. It's, it's just a very different approach to independent stationery, I thought. Now, Kerry from Cumbria, aka Polska Dotti, makes all kinds of designs of great greeting cards, but she also makes these wrapping papers, which uh, are all kind of like 
a tiny bit sassy, like this one that says happy birthday from your superior sibling. I'm gonna keep this for when Simon's brother has his birthday this summer. Anyway, you can get this whole sheet and I'm pretty sure that she has free shipping as well on Etsy, so that's good. And last but not least, Alexia Claire, who works a lot with watercolor, she does a lot of pattern designs. Her Etsy shop has a lot of printables as well, if you don't want to just like wait for something to be shipped to you, but you want to use her watercolor designs in your own project, kind of like on your own terms. I have bought this on, I'm pretty sure that it was on sale, it's like a little Christmassy pattern. I, I love the design. I love Christmas. Um, I'm a big list maker and taker, so I thought I'm just gonna keep this until December or November, possibly September. I start with Christmas planning pretty early. Well, it's really pretty. I just love the simple colors as well. Very nice. And that was a humongous pile of amazing independent creator stationery. For ultimate convenience, all of the links and names are gonna be down in the doobly-doo, so you can absolutely, you know, wait for the payday and go check out all of these artists and throw all your money at them. They will love it. Uh, all of these guys always send out such great thank you notes. It's like, clearly this means a lot to them. Hopefully this video will help you guys discover some, some new faces on the in the stationary scene or you know it, it's gonna help these creators make a tiny bit more money to then put into new designs um yeah it's it's nice to feel like maybe this could create like a new link between between potential fans of, of stationary and indie makers yes okay uh i am excited to hear in the comments below which one of these things caught your eye the most and uh I will see you soon. Bye.